What's up YouTube, welcome back to the shop. I wanna run a test today. I wanna to see if I can take a single two x four and design a box that I can batch out from a single two x four and turn that into an item that I could ultimately sell. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a two x four, cut a little bit off, mill it down, make some box sides. And for this test, what I'm thinking is I'll make a couple boxes and that should give me enough knowledge to know if this is gonna be a viable product for me down the road. I got my box sides all done. So now it's time to do the joinery. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do box joints for this. They're just a good, strong joint. I do have a video on making box joints. So if you haven't checked that out, I would highly recommend it. Click up there, watch it. It goes over how to make box joints without doing any sort of measuring. That's my kind of joint. I really like how these box joints went together. They're nice and tight. So that's a good joint. So now I gotta work on the bottoms and the tops. So I took a two by four over to the bandsaw and resawed it. And I really like this look whenever I put these together. It has sort of a busy grain in the middle. And then as you go out towards the edges, it's a little wider. So I think I'm gonna take these, go over to the joiner, joint these edges, glue these panels together. And when they're all done, I should have my bottoms and my tops for my boxes. I got my box out of the clamps and it looks awesome, especially with that linear grain in the bottom. Oh, really cool. And I've got a board here for my lid. So now I need to make this fit onto this. So while I'm doing that, I'm also gonna think about a handle. I feel like this needs a handle. Let me brainstorm that one. after some careful deliberation. I felt like that this lid needed some sort of softer feel. So I made a mock-up of a nice swoopy profile for a handle and I'm digging this. I really like it. So I think I'm gonna roll with this. I'm gonna put my template right on my board and trace this out. Then I can go over to the bandsaw, cut this to rough shape, and then head over to the disc sander, sand down to the final profile. I got my handle cut out. Now I gotta make sure that I center this where I want it on my box lid. So I am taking my combination square, getting that where I want, and then to make this so much easier on me, I'm gonna take a piece of scrap, I'm gonna put some double-sided tape, and I'm gonna stick it right there. That way I could put glue on my handle, stick it back in place, pull this off. I don't have to worry about registering this side, I only have to worry about doing it from end to end. Not gonna lie, I love some double-sided tape. Use it all the time. You could also do the old 
super glue and blue tape for this, but double-sided tape is much, much faster on small parts like this. It's over. Boom. I'm gonna do the wood glue and CA glue trick, which is I put a little bit of wood glue on here. The wood glue is for strength, but I will add a couple drops of CA glue and that is to serve as just a quick clamp so I can press this down on my lid and it will stay in place. Time to apply finish. I'm gonna go simple. I'm gonna use some armor seal, which is my go-to. I love using armor seal. Thought about doing some sort of staining or dyeing or whatever, but I kind of like seeing this natural look of the pine, so I'm gonna roll with that. I'm liking the warmth that this is providing. If you've never used a wipe-on varnish or a wipe-on poly, I highly recommend giving it a shot. I have a video on how to use wipe-on varnishes, and I kind of go step-by-step -step through my process for it. It's just a great finish to do, and it's really, really simple to get really, really good results. So check that out if you're interested. That was a really cool test, but more importantly, I just dig the design of the box we came up with. It's something that I don't mind making over and over again, and that's really the key to selling your woodworking items. You're gonna wanna be able to batch things out and that's gonna maximize your profits. Based off my experience of selling woodworking items online and in person, I'm comfortable saying that I could take that two by four and then make enough boxes to generate between two to $300 worth of sales I think that's a pretty good turnaround for the cost of a two by four. So if you enjoyed this content, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell notification so you'll be alerted the next time I put out a video. I put out videos every week, sometimes more than once a week. Who knows? Make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified the next one that gets published. Until we meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.